Hello everyone, Ayush here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Rev Sumo bot. I broke this video up into three parts to make things easier, so to start off, we'll build a chassis. To start off, you're going to want to take out two pieces of 225mm Rev extrusion, as well as eight 90 degree brackets for the top and bottom of each extrusion. Next, you want to lay out four pillow blocks, two for each side, as well as two motor mounts, one for each side. You then want to take out two more 225mm rev beams, as well as two 265mm beams, one for the top and one for the bottom. You want six more pillow blocks and eight more 90 degree brackets. Now that we have that all laid out, you can start to build the inside of the chassis. First, begin to attach the pillow blocks and motor mounts to the beams by sliding them into the top. Note that throughout this build, we stuck to mainly 6mm M3 screws and used 8mm M3 screws to attach the motors. Once you have slid in all of your items, you then want to make sure that your motor mount is 1.25 inches away from the edge of your extrusion. And once it is, tighten it into place. Then slide in your 90 degree brackets on the top and bottom of each side and tighten them once they are in place. Make sure you let the bracket stick out enough so that you can slide in the 265mm extrusion later on. And keep the pillow blocks loose so you can adjust them when putting the axles in. Moving on, you're going to want to do the same exact thing with the other 225mm extrusion, mirroring the pieces you have just built. On to part 2, which is attaching the wheels and motors, you're going to want to take out the pieces shown in the picture to build our wheels. For the Omni wheel, you will need to take out your 75mm axle and slide in the items as follows. First slide in one long through bore bearing, then slide in a 90 tooth gear, followed by the Omni wheel. After the wheel, attach a shaft collar, a 3mm spacer, and on the end, a long through bore bearing. For the middle gear, you're going to want to take another 75mm axle and slide in a long through bore bearing, a 70 tooth gear, followed by two shaft collars ending with a long through bore bearing. For the regular wheel, you're going to want to use a 90 millimeter axle and to start off, slide in the regular wheel and then the 90 tooth gear after that. Then add in a shaft collar and two three millimeter spacers after that. Finally, on the side of your wheel, add in one end cap bearing to finish it off. Once you have completed these three wheels, make another set of three wheels for the other side of the robot. Moving on to the motors, just attach them to the motor mounts using 8mm M3 screws and make sure that the motors face inwards and not outwards. After you complete this, you can start to slide in your battery holder as well as your expansion hub onto the top of your robot. Make sure that the expansion hub is behind the motors so that is easier when it comes to wiring. As a side note, on our hub, we use strain relief to keep the wires from coming out, which I would highly recommend you do. After this, begin to slide in your 265mm extrusion to the already placed 90 degree brackets. Once this is finished, you can start to attach your wheels to each side. Remember, they won't be in tight, but that's only because the outer part of the chassis hasn't been attached. After sliding in the wheels into the pillow blocks and sliding the regular wheel into the motor, you can begin to attach the outer edges. To do this, simply line up the outer pillow blocks to the axles, and once they are aligned, just tighten them into place, and then slide in the 225mm extrusion into the 90 degree brackets, and begin to start tightening the screws. Now that you have completed that part, your chassis is built, and all that is left to do is wiring. Plug in two JST VH motor cables, one to each motor and attach each into the motor section of the rev hub. After that, add in two encoder cables and plug them into the rev hub as well. After this is finished, just add in your battery and phone and your robot is complete. Thank you for watching.